Carmen Denise. I am a beast. Don't talk to me. Do, 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 do. Welcome to my channel. It's I Carmen. And today we're gonna do a messy makeup Monday. I ain't doing my makeup messy, but this story time, I'm about to do pretty messy. First of all, y'all see I did my own hair. I recorded myself doing it right. But I don't really know how to explain stuff. Like you know how you gotta in order to do a tutorial, you gotta know how to explain what you're doing. I don't know how to explain. I barely knew what I was doing. First of all, y'all can see I look like a crackhead. I didn't. My edge is not even there. Into the story time on how I had a stalker coworker. I'm heavy on the stalker. Like he ain't really like, <laughs> stalk me, but. It was weird, regardless. So, boom. Anyway, I did my eyebrows off camera. So, I'm finna go ahead and prime. We're gonna get to the story time. So, as y'all know, first of all, I'm gonna just say this right now. I ain't finna be saying nobody real names because I ain't got time to get into it with people. <laughs> so, y'all know I used to work at Icon, right? So, Icon is a movie theater or whatever. This is technically like, I had. <laughs> I had jobs before, but I come like my first job job like uh, okay, because I used to work at like a poetry little thing, then I was working basically that poetry little thing was like my first that was my first ever job, but I come was like my first job job like minimum wage type stuff. So boom. I started working at Icon, so basically, I was one of the cutest people there. I'm going to say that in the humblest, <laughs> I'm saying that in the humblest way possible. I was one of the cutest people there. So, of course, it's just naturally people going to talk to me. So, <laughs> anyway, it's like every day, it depends on how long you've been working on, they'll put you in different places or whatever. So... When you first start working there, they put everybody, like, as an usher. Unless you work... I don't know how working upstairs work. Upstairs is where they serve liquor. Only 21 and up go up there. Oh, you can only be 21 and up to work up there. I worked up there one time. You know, I'm not 21. They told me to go up there and usher with up. It's VIP. Okay, anyway. It's VIP. Grown-ups go up there. They drink or whatever. And I had seated up there, too. Y'all know what none of that stuff mean, but when you first start working there, you usher, right? You basically clean the theaters out behind everybody, like, and once the movie over, you go in there, you clean out all the theaters. By this time, I was working there for a good minute, so they kept having me work concessions. I don't know why they was obsessed with me out of all people. I hated working in concessions, bro. Then they used to always try to put me on prep, like, prep is, okay, if you work in concessions, right, boom. So, working in concessions basically mean... That you work in the concessions area. So, you know how they got, like, hot dogs and they got, like, pretzels and stuff like that. Basically, if you worked in prep, that's what you did. You cooked that shit in concessions. So, they used to always try to put me in prep. But that's besides the point. Because I can make a story time, but they used to blow me with that, G. My forehead is swole. We gonna contour that, baby, because... But anyway... We working, I work in sessions. So, um, this dude, right, he worked upstairs. He like, you know, he worked at the 21 and up place. So, it was all an icon, but it was just like 21 and up, went up the VIP. So, this dude, he, uh, okay, so it's this dude. I never knew this nigga name, so I can't even tell y'all his name. I never knew him. I never had a conversation with him. We never talked. Oh, uh, nothing. So, he come. I'm in concessions with the other nigga. I don't remember what nigga I was working with this day. But I remember meeting him at the concession. So, I used to be arguing with all of them. And they used to be, you know how boys argue with you? They be, what niggas, they flirt with you when they argue with you or whatever. So, I used to be play arguing with them. They used to be arguing with me. So, he come to concessions. So you go on break, you basically get a free drink, free popcorn, and you get discount on like anything else. That's not, you feel me? So, with that being said, he come dude, right? We gonna, this nigga name gonna be dude. That's, 
His name gonna be Dude. That's because I don't know his name. So Dude come. He come into the concession thing. So I think I was working with. I'm not gonna say the person. I think I was working with real name. I'm gonna call him Tortilla. <laughs> I was working with Tortilla. So Tortilla used to be overly like overly flirting me. This nigga used to be overgrown though, trying to flirt with me. Boy bad. So dude come up to the cash register. So he say he talking to Tortilla about me. So I'm looking at them. I'm just laughing. I'm like, bro, what? Cause they used to all do that. All them niggas and they used to be over lonesome, trying to kick it, over flirt type stuff. So dude only trying to get kick it, point like kick it. I don't know him, so I'm not really finna, you know, entertain them. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. So <laughs> I kept noticing like. Every time I go on break and he was working, it's like we worked at the same time. I used to work when I get off from school. I used to go to work. So I work like 4 to 11 type. 4 to 11, 6 to 11. Because that's when in town, and we used to be closing. Like we used to close at 1, but only like a few people stay after 11. So with that being said, he say, uh,. So he used to be over like staring at me. So boom. So it was happening like my whole time working up. So summer come. I first of all, I had a I was single. I was fresh out of a relationship. I got a gray hair. Bro, I'm gonna put a picture of my hair right here. I had gray hair in. Y'all had to take they couldn't take me serious. Yeah, you know at icon, they say you can't wear colors. So nobody was wearing colors. But gray hair not considered a color. That's a I come in work gray. I'm on top. Everybody like, you fat with the gray. You got the gray. You fat. I know that though. <laughs> I know that though. So, oh, I got the gray. So now he overly, like overly stalking me. Over on my tail. Overly trying to kick it. Every time somebody say something to me, overly trying to kick it. So I'm like, gee, what's to do? So it's this one dude that I used to work with. His name, I I want to see him on social media. I ain't his friend on social media. We used to be flirting. <laughs> we used to be flirting with each other, right? I know his real name, but I don't even go say his real name because he probably got a girlfriend or something. He go, I used to be blah, blah, blah. We going to call him Killmonger. <laughs> he going to look like Killmonger. That's just the first thing that came to my head. Me and Killmonger used to be overly, like, overly kicking it, heavy on the kick. <laughs> So one day, I get off work. Kill Mark get off at the same time I got off this time. Because normally he get off like before me or he get off after me. But this time, we get off at the same time. So we in the uh, break room. We in the just overly kicking or whatever. So then he asked me what's my number. So I gave him my number. So time go on. So one day, me, Kill Monga, and dude, we all on break together. So I'm in the... Mind you, I'm Killmonger cute. So, I mean, no, we kicking it. We is in a vibing. So, you know, I'm arguing with Killmonger. Like, that's I don't know how to flirt. So, <laughs> the way I flirt is telling people, like, yeah, you ugly as hell. So, <laughs> so me and Killmonger, we and I just arguing, going back and forth, playing. So, dude in there with us, right? So, him and Killmonger, I guess they cool. Because, you know, when you just work with everybody for a long time, y'all just, you just become cool with certain people just because. So now he over me trying to get crack jokes in because me and Killmonger going back and forth. I'm looking at him like, nigga, I don't know you. So I'm not going to kick with you for real. So I get off, I think I got off break before they did. So Killmonger like, uh, so I get off break. Damn, if I say what well, he used to work all the time, y'all going to know who <laughs> people I used to work with going to know who I'm talking about. He used to work a specific position at Icon, right? So he was working that position. So I went to where he was at because I was ushering this day. I come up to him. We kicking it. We vibing. We just talking. So, hey, so, uh, so how you feel about dude? I'm like, who the fuck is dude? <laughs> I'm, who the fuck is dude? He gonna say dude, blah blah blah. He work upstairs. I'm like, I don't know, who, I don't know nobody that work upstairs at all. Matter of fact, I knew like one nigga that work upstairs. Me and him was cool, I think. But then I'm like, I don't know no fucking dude. Who's that? He gonna say shorty with the glasses, shorty boots and that. I say mm, I don't know him. How can I feel some type of way about him? You get what I'm saying? 
So he like, well, he told me he like you. He want to talk to you. I was like, bro, he not my speed. Like, what are you saying? Cause for my phobia. G. I'm for the overly. I need something darker. I don't really like a sharp contour because I feel like it makes me look like a man. But today, this forehead on beam, I'm like going to fire. I'm looking in the camera like, then I got at a horrible angle. I should have did my makeup from this angle. But Kim Marga like, yeah, uh, ask me how I feel about him. I'm like, bro, I don't know that nigga, blah, blah, blah. So he's telling me like, yeah, he wanted to talk to you. He wanted to kick with you. He wanted to vibe with you. He's telling me that you look good and all that. I'm like, bro, I never had a conversation with this man. How do he like me so bad? I'm like, I be peeping him, staring me. Kim Marga get the dad laughing. He's like, I be peeping him, looking at you too. He be, he been on your ass, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just finally letting you know. And he was like, I think you should tell him that you don't want to talk to him. I'm like, bro, I don't know him. Why am I going out of my way telling this man I don't want to talk to you? I don't know you. First of all, if you're not man enough to tell me you want me, I'm not going to talk to you regardless. But then on top of that, I don't know you. You're a, he's not, I'm not going to say nobody ugly because I'm trying to give my life to the Lord. He's not attractive. He, uh, He's not my speed. This was before I went to college. So... I had put my two weeks notice in, telling them, like, yeah, I'm going to go to college, blah, blah, blah. These motherfuckers stopped putting me on the schedule. I told them I was going to college, but that's another story for another day, because they used to be playing with me too much icon. Anyway, so me and Killmonger, I think we stopped talking like that, because it's like, ain't no point in us talking. I'm going to go to school. I don't know what that nigga do in his spare time, but we stopped talking. I promise you, if I had my old iPhone, I gave it to my little brother. I, I should have saved these messages, bro, because I would have put them on the screen. <laughs> so, I'm mad at my business. I see I get a text message saying, hey, Carmen. So, I'm like, me being me, I be knowing how sometimes I be deleting messages, and this probably be from niggas I used to talk to. So, I'm like, yo. And they was, was like, what you doing? How you been? Why you ain't been to work? So, I'm like... I ain't, who at work got my number? <laughs> who at I got, I got my number? So I'm like, who is this? He say his name. He say like Charles or something. I'm like, who? I don't, damn, what if that's his real name? <laughs> so he say Charles. I'm like, I don't know no damn Charles. So he say, uh, blah, blah, blah. I used to work upstairs for you. Hold on, y'all. Be right back. I was right. I had to wear my beauty blender. So I'm like, I don't know nobody named Charles. Who are you? So I, he keep going into detail describing him. Describing himself, basically. So I'm like, bro. So I'm just like, why are you playing? Just send me a picture of you. This nigga sent me a picture of himself. And that's the nigga dude. I'm like, gee. I'm twi- I'm like... How this nigga so mad you? I forgot I gave uh kill Mark and my number type shit. Cause me and him wanna talking. I want at work. We wanna talking. Like we wanna just I don't know, just like we just stopped talking. So I how he forgot kill Mark and had my number. I had somebody else had my number at work too. I gave my number to like I had somebody else had my number. That's all y'all need. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, damn dude, on some stalking shit. I'm like, damn, so this before I even asked him. So I'm like, shorty, so I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So I'm tripped out. I'm like, damn. I'm in my head brainstorming like, shorty, how would he have my number? Instead of asking him, because now I'm like, he used to be on some stuff. Everybody used to tell me, like, even after Killmonger told me that he wanted me, Everybody else, it was like a couple people telling me, like, dude wanted me. Bro, I'm promise y'all, because it used to be so many weird niggas I used to work with at Icon. It don't make no sense. So, I'm like, uh... I'm like, I'm just finna stop the goose chasing. Nigga, how you get my number? <laughs> like, straight up, how you get my number? He say so, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a soft beat today, because... I'm not even doing the soft beat. I'm even doing something natural because I ain't got time. I hate washing my makeup off. Let me just tell y'all that. I love doing my makeup, but I hate washing my makeup off. That shit tedious. So I'm not going to where well, I overly beat my face. I'm gonna do something natural. So 
He say some, uh, Killmonger gave me your number. So I'm overly blue. I don't even have, like, Killmonger number saved in my phone type shit. So I say, I'm searching stuff he said to each other and our messages. I'm like, bro, I'm going to fat him and I'm going to treat his, treat his ass. Why? First of all, if I give you my number. I gave you my number. I didn't give nobody else my number. If I wanted somebody to have my number, I would have gave it to them. It's one thing if you gave him like my Snap or my Facebook or my Twitter or my Instagram. You gave this nigga my cellular device number. You gave this nigga a way to find me. If he typed my number in, he probably could have found out where I lived. I don't know. Do you know you could track people through their number? Why would you give this man my number? So... I text Killmonger. I say, hey, Killmonger. He gonna say, yo, what's up, Carmen? man? How you been? Nigga, how you been? Why did you give my number out? I say, why would you give him my number? And I tell you I ain't want to talk to him. When last time we had a conversation about him. He gonna say he really like you, blah, blah, blah. He kept asking me for it. Why you tell him you had my number? <laughs> Gee, I'm too blue. Now I'm like, bro, I'm on his ass. I'm treating the shit out of him. I say, bro, he texting me. He won't stop texting me. I sent him a picture, the screenshot, our messages, everything. He overly laughing. I said, yup. That's why I don't fuck with these icon ass niggas, bro. So do this. I'm like. I'm just pissed. <laughs> why did you give my number out to people? I did not give nobody your number. So why did you give people masks? That's just a code of conduct. First of all, I knew. First of all, that's how I know you ain't even like me for real. Because why did you give me. <laughs> I gave you my number. You asked for my number, then you gonna give it to another nigga. I guess he's like, we barely talk anyway. You might as well can have my number. He overly blew me. Like, gee. And I remember I had, like, a work friend. I text my work friend. I say, gee, why the fuck? Uh, one of these motherfuckers gave him my number, so my work friend confused, too. Friend, like, bitch, how he get your <laughs> How you get your number? He gonna say his weird ass. I know he's be always staring at you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, friend, I promise you. I'm like, I ain't never seen nothing like this a day in my life at all, G. So, bro, I want to promise you. I could have a... One day, I'm going to do a weirdest things that... Bro, it's so many... Creep niggas that be at Icon, that work at Icon, that came to watch movies at Icon. And I wasn't even working at Icon that long. I don't even, it wasn't even a year I was working there. And so much weird shit happened while I was working there. I'm like, bro, niggas be weird. I, I can most definitely do a whole little uh, compilation on weird shit that happened to me at Icon. <laughs> they probably gonna be blue. They probably gonna see this video like, girl, you tired of shit not name. I'm sorry, y'all just hired weird niggas. Cause there's no way in here. First of all, Killmonger piss me off. Don't give a nigga like Killmonger your number. Cause nigga, I get you my number. You asked for my number so you could talk to me, not for you to give my number out to niggas that asked for my number. You get what I'm saying? Just like, bro, it was. It's so much weird stuff that happened at Icon with these boys, bro. It don't make no sense. I just like, bro, what? Is y'all cool? Like, motherfuckers secretly stalking my social media pages. Like, that shit don't make no sense. And it's like, I didn't... Bro, I could just... This is another story tale for another day. So, I know y'all probably want to sit here and watch me be my face, but... I was telling the story more than I was doing my makeup. Like, okay, I oh high key over exaggerated the part when I'm like, yeah, he stalked me because he it was it was some weird stuff, but he ain't stalked me like popping up at my job or uh, popping up at my house. But then they got my number because somebody gave him my number. Somebody fucking stupid gave him my number. That's how that played out. But honestly, y'all, I could probably. Y'all can comment and tell me if y'all want to hear more stories about me working at Icon. Because I promise y'all, them boys at Icon used to be so weird. It's weird, though. Like, if I never talked to you, I never... Imagine that. Like, you just... This nigga send you a picture. First of all, it's the nigga. Everybody kept saying he liked you. He was kept trying to talk to you nonstop the whole time he was working there. Imagine that. You just wake... You just see he got your number all of a sudden. Baby, that's weird. 
Nigga ain't asked for my social media. Nigga, get my number. First of all, it's 2019. It's 2019 at the time. Baby, you could've asked me for my snap. Then I pissed off because Killmonger, bald head, skinny, dread hair there. He could have easily asked me, like, hey, what's my call? He asked me for your number. Can I give it to him or not? It would have been simple, but no, you want to get my number out. You feel obligated to get my number out. If I, I got, y'all, I got on his ass, because that shit pissed me off. Who else you gave my number to? Because it's. Well, anyways, that was that for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you think about the situation. Like, do you feel like I overly gassed it? <laughs> or do you feel like, damn, that's some weird shit that happened? Anyway, comment any other story time, y'all. Because y'all, my stories, I got some funny stories. So comment any other story time y'all want to hear. And welcome to Messy Monday. No, Messy Makeup Monday by Carmen. I, Carmen. Peace.